you are Paris Grand Slam champion. What is going through your mind right now? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's amazing. Uh, I had a goal to to win a Grand Slam this year, and uh, to win it in Paris, it's like for me one of the greatest uh, feelings I have ever felt on my judo tour. Why? Why is it so good in Paris? Like uh, I just get goosebumps just walking onto the the mat. Like no matter if you fight a French player or you fight anyone else, even if you're not French, like you see the people cheering for you, cheering for good judo, and that's what uh, this is really about, you know. Yeah, talk, talk me through that. The crowd, they really engage with, with the judo. Yeah, it, it's, it's crazy. Like even during the match, usually, uh, during, during the match, usually you don't hear of, or sense anything from outside, but here in Paris, it's, it's impossible. Like if you show some good judo, if you show some good uh, techniques, like they're gonna cheer and they're gonna like lift the whole atmosphere to the roof. It's, it's, it's just... Uh, it's just amazing. In the final, you talked me through the moments that the crowd interacted with you and you like talked me through all those moments when you heard them. Yeah, yeah, I, I got excited when I started to turn him in, in Nevaza and I heard the crowd like just like cheering me up, like go to the end. And it was like, this, this is awesome. Like they want me to win also, you know. So uh, yeah, it's an absolute pleasure to fight, to fight in Paris. Two in a row. Crazy. How are you managing to, you also, after Portugal, we've sensed the little injury you had. How have you managed to uh, do, do two back to back? I, I did that once last year and it wasn't really good. So I wasn't really uh, uh, up for this when my coach mentioned it. But uh, he told me that we're in good shape now and that I'll recover fast after the competition in Portugal. So I trusted him. I didn't do so much training this week. I just focused on losing my weight and uh, yeah, it's ended up the way it is, the way it did, amazing. Another nice moment where we saw you take it in. We saw you center yourself. Talk me through, what was the difference in centering yourself in Portugal and now, and like what's going through your mind? And like I said before, the crowd here is amazing and doing it here in, in Paris was even better. Like uh, I sensed the energy like filled me when people watched this moment as well. And uh, like this is this is what I love. Like just feel the things, not just speak about them or watch them. You know, feel the atmosphere here, and that's really why I did it. So you've just won a gold medal in Paris. There's another pretty important event coming up in Paris later in the year. What? Uh, how is this event going to um, give you the the future effort for the next event for that event? Yeah, like I said in Portugal, like uh, I just want to stay humble. I just want to keep on working harder. Uh, I don't want to like uh, celebrate this too much because this is just uh, this is just the road towards the the, the main goal this year. So uh, just a few days rest and we're gonna go and uh, start preparing for Olympics. Thank you so much, Mihal. Congratulations.